Whether you're naturally slim or someone who finds it a challenge to maintain your figure, I dedicate this to you. After my desire to get serious about modeling peaked in my late teens, I knew there was a major hindrance to my succeeding in the market due to my clothing size at the time being a 12 through 14. I wanted to be a part of high fashion, and let's face it, I have nothing against plus size modeling, and I don't see why there's so many negative connotations when it comes to being very curvaceous. A couple of my friends are relishing and in high demand in the plus size market and are enjoying the success, the economic status, and of course the attention it brings. I, however, fed up the trademark fashions of Vogue, Women's Wear Daily, Harper's Bazaar, and I wanted to be considered by top modeling agencies. I knew I had to get serious about the weight loss that I needed to undergo and I viewed it sort of a challenge that had to be done, but in the right way. While attending university and sitting in the courtyard after a lecture, I thought long and hard about how I was going to get down to be a sample size and of course maintain it healthfully. First and foremost, I had to learn the basic fundamentals of nutrition. It came as a shock that sipping on smoothies, eating plain bagels, snacking on fat-free gummy bears was not the road to a much desired lean frame. It was also crucial to learn the appropriate form of exercise in order to achieve a lift and feminine frame. Even when the occasion called for a weigh-in, I refrained until I thought I had reached my goals. I didn't want it to become an obsession. Like every girl growing up, I wanted to be deemed attractive and the opportunity to wear fashionable clothes that I loved made it even more exciting. It took well over a year for a complete and physical transformation. I lost close to 60 pounds before landing a highly coveted contract with the top modeling agency Ford Models. But a spin on my fate came when my submission was sent in to be on America's Next Top Model. I met the final deadline and the casting process began. I am in no way an expert on nutrition. I don't hold a doctorate degree under my belt and I can only share the small changes I've made along the way and that I always seem to return to even after 20 years. For example, shifting to almond milk, uh, milks that are not dairy related. There's great hemp, coconut, macadamia nut milk. Try to look for them being under eight grams of sugar. Remember going to places like Starbucks and ordering a soy milk based uh, cappuccino or latte uh, has laden with sugar. So try to refrain from dairy products as well because I'm gonna be honest with you. My understanding throughout the years is a lot of the dairy products that are out there are full of hormones and we as women find it very hard to process that and we tend to retain the extra um, fat around our bellies or around the back of um, our backsides. Another tip, when you're ordering out, watch out for creamy salad dressings. Although they're delicious, overdosing on them is not a good idea. Switch to a vinaigrette or even um, come up with something that you can make at home that's healthy based out of citrus, olive oil, there's uh, avocado oil. There's so many uh, amazing varieties that are available now that weren't available long ago. Cutting back on fruit and increasing vegetable intake. Also limiting, I would say, nuts and a lot of high fat. Um, drinking water throughout the day and be cautious on the amount of bleached flour products such as pasta and rice. Switch to things like Ezekiel bread, sprouted grains, which your body will learn better how to process and you'll get more energy from as well. So decrease, of course, if you're deciding to eat meat, fatty meats, and increase fish and lean meats, and if you can, hormone-free poultries. Exercise is something that's a little tricky, and my friends have teased me because I can be a little eccentric when it comes to finding the right routine. I must admit that from my experiences throughout the years, I've come to really cherish my workout routine. It's a combination of strengthening exercises and cardio. Somehow women get pushed into masculine workouts boot camps and weights, and I'll be honest, that's not something that I um, look to do. I kind of find it amusing to be at a gym and people slamming down weights and grunting noises, but to each its own. I prefer working with a series of exercises through Pilates, and if you're looking to try Pilates, you can always visit their website, pilates.com, and get a refresher or get refreshed 
on things related to that sort of um, workout, including gyrokinesis, gyrotonic. Um, I also do bar classes and I use resistant bands. And of course, I like the BOSU as well. But most importantly, consistency is the only way to achieve and maintain results. Thanks, guys.